Hi, in this short mini video I will explain what type of cartographic projection we have used for this game as well as what is a latitude and what is a longitude. Here is Hélène Gaonac. The Earth is a sphere that is slightly flattened at the poles. Making a graphic representation of the Earth leads to the following question how to project the surface of a sphere on a flat surface. Before talking about projection, I would like to clarify what is a latitude and what is a longitude. You observe on the board horizontal and vertical lines, as well as an orange star in the center. The star is at a latitude and longitude of zero degrees. What is a latitude? Imaginary latitudes measured in degrees divide the Earth. They indicate the position of a point on the Earth north or south of the equator. The latitude zero corresponds to the equator. Going to the north, the latitude increases from zero degrees to reach 90 degrees north at the North Pole. The same applies when going south. The latitude increases from zero degrees to 90 degrees south at the South Pole. Longitudes, also called meridians, are imaginary lines going from pole to pole. Latitude zero, which go through the orange star, also go through Greenwich, a suburb of London in England. Going east increases the longitude from zero degrees to 180 degrees east. Going west increases the longitude from zero degrees to 180 degrees west. The two 180 degrees east and west lines merge on the same meridian in the Pacific Ocean. This line is called the changing date line. Each side is one day away from the other. Here we have on another format north latitudes in blue, south latitudes in red, western longitudes in red and eastern longitudes in blue. We have used the equirectangular projection. Using this projection, some parts of the Earth's surface are more distorted distort than others. The Earth is projected on a cylinder. The spacing between latitudes and longitudes being the same over the entire map. Taking disks of similar size located at different places on the Earth, the orange disks here. The projection will create greater distortion in the disks which are closer to the poles stretching them in an east-west direction. Those near the equator, on the other hand, are not deformed. The Earth is therefore stretched in an east-west direction near the poles. But the advantage of this projection is the regular grid to play with. You can also observe here the deformation of continents close to the poles. This is the end of this mini video. You can find all the videos about this climate game on the blog at the address jeclimatin.blogspot.ca.
have a nice day.